Good afternoon, Remini Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back. I can't believe this, folks. I have been uh, having trouble with my computer. God is so good. I have been just recording with a black screen, and I turned on my computer this morning, and here you are. I'm speaking uh, to my computer. I see Jackie there. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to mention this. My uh, partner, uh, my helper here on the channel isn't back for a week. And maybe God has, God has been our mechanic. God has been our technician. Thank you, Lord. I had a couple of you praying. So praise God. Thank you very much for your prayers. I laid hands on this computer. It was so weird for days. And I said to the Lord, well, if it's time for the mail ministry, so be it. So we are still on the platform. My computer seems to be working, but I will give you a warning. If you see words come in uh, from the archives and I'm missing in action, then you know I'm waiting for my friend and this thing went down again. But real quick, I wanted to thank you. Uh, I've been up since 4.30 writing words. The Lord has really been speaking. Folks, I can just feel the anointing going deeper and deeper within me. Uh, I've been born again with these gifts for over 40 years and never have I felt the growth of the Lord. It has nothing to do with me. You know this. And I know you folks feel it in your own life. I tell, I can tell by your comments, the depth of your comments, you are growing and you are realizing that the Lord, you know, is on his throne and his anointing is moving through the remnant. Amen. So I wanted to encourage you, um, share these messages. Um, there's so much in these words. That's another thing I've noticed with these words. I'll get a word, I'll get a subject, the Lord will speak on it. And then within the word in several places are more in-depth uh, pearls of wisdom, we'll call it, pearls of wisdom. So it's good if something perks your spirit to listen to these videos, to share these videos with like-minded people. We are coming so quickly to the end. Amen. So I, I, yeah, I've been up like three hours. I don't think Many of you realize the hours I put in on this channel, and it's so good for me, and it's a wonderful ministry, but I do want to thank you very much. There are some that donate on the channel in the super thanks up at the three dots. You'll see those, and you click those, and you'll see the super thanks, and I'm really pushing the mail ministry. Um, I've got quite a stack that started. And I'm right, you know, sometimes you folks comment and I can tell you're down and I have your address and I can send you a tea bag in the mail and let you know God loves you, that you're thought of, that you're prayed for. That's what this mail, mail ministry is about right now. You can, you've written to me about your children. Um, you know, it's so wonderful. So I, I plead with you. And if you can donate a couple dollars it, when you write, that's a blessing. I'm really trying to save my limited funds to buy a hundred stamps. Uh, I don't need envelopes when this does go dark and we do go on the mail ministry. I will go down to my buddies there at Staples and they will, I will write and they will make copies for me. By the time you buy a, a, a printer and use the ink, it's just better to go down there at a few cents a copy. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Once you send cash in the mail to the box in the description, then I'll give you all my information. Information and you can write checks and, you know, even money orders in the, you know, uh, in the future. So God bless every one of you that have shared with me, uh, that have shared stamps. One of our viewers bought envelopes. So I just, please don't send me any gifts. You know, I have coffee to send out and tea bags. I appreciate it. But stamps are, uh, if, you know, if you have limited funds and you can't donate, stamps are always a blessing for four or five stamps, you know, they go such a long way, church. So anyway, I woke up the other morning. This is a bit different here. Uh, uh, I woke up the other morning and the Lord spoke to me about doing a prayer time regarding uh, addictions. 
And I no sooner got up and then one of the comments came through, a man came through and was pouring out his heart. He has an addiction and I was able to encourage him in the comments section. And that really bore witness. And I shared with him at that time, I felt like just that morning, the Lord was sharing with me to do a prayer time for addictions. And I really have a feeling that I'm opening up Pandora's box here. Because I know many, many people struggle with addictions. Amen. Now, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to pray briefly for you today. But I'm going to give this about a week. When I get a full list of names here, um, uh, and I believe that the because the Lord showed me this was out there, shared with me to do this, and then that same day that man wrote to me, then um, I know that I'm going to get a lot of names, amen, and we're going to pray about this, and I'm going to share my own addictions with you. You know, I didn't get saved until I was, uh, you know, in my early 30s, and um, I I drank so much wine. I was what they call a wino. I was a wino. I was a wino, and I understand the struggles in addictions. And, you know, I understand how sometimes it takes time. It's a battle. Some people are delivered like that, praise God. But in my own life, it was some, I think it was years, right? It was years. And then I do better and I fall back. And, um, so I'm not going to judge another person, but what I'm saying here is that time is so very short. Um, our finances are going to get more and more difficult as this inflation and these governments do what they're going to do. It's all part of the plan. And you're not going to have the money to spend on wine and liquor and cigarettes and cigars and, uh, you know, uh, prescription drugs, whatever it is. Now, I'm not a doctor. And if you are on prescription drugs or you are a heavy alcoholic, perhaps it's detrimental to your health to just try to stop suddenly. So please seek a doctor. Be honest. Be real. Go to your good doctor. Tell them what you're in. Then we're going to back that up in prayer with you. So I want to caution you. Amen. But um, I want to just pray in the next We'll, we'll see. We'll just let this go. We'll let people view this video. And I'm going to even add pornography because I know many, many men struggle with pornography. And I'm never going to embarrass anybody and not say what your addiction is. In the comments, leave your name. And if you feel like you want to share, certainly share. If not, just put the bullseye and we will put you on the prayer list. And we will, my prayer partner and I, we will pray fervently for your deliverance. Amen. And so, uh, that's what I'll say. Put a bullseye or just put your name, your first name and addiction. I will not embarrass anybody. If you feel like you want to send me your address and write to me further, you know, I keep pushing these addresses, church. And um, as you give, you know, through the cash the first time out, I will bless you with the gift. You know, I have the Kona coffees and the Kona teas. Amen. But getting back to if you can, if you want to just write, uh, to the post box and share more with me, then I can lay hands on that letter. You see, this is why I lay, here's all our cards. I put everybody's information on three by five cards. Some of you are so cute. You sent me all your information printed out on three by five cards. And I will lay hands on these cards. And every week I go through every name and sometimes the Holy, well, this Holy Spirit does put you on my heart and I'll send you a tea bag just to let you know that I'm praying for you. This is what this mail ministry is all about. It's in for now. It, it's an extension of this channel, but it's another ministry and it's going to be the only way we have of communicating when they take the Christians off this channel. Amen. I mean, that's what I know to do right now. Right now, it's a wonderful ministry. People are getting blessed. We're going back and forth. Uh, I'm praying for these cards. I'm sending out tea bags. So 
that's why I'm so pushing it, Lord. I'm trying, or folks, trying to look ahead. You know, we're to look ahead as watchmen on the wall. That's what we're supposed to do, you know. And this is what I'm thinking, how we're going to move for right now. It's a wonderful ministry. It's growing, praise God. And um, God is using this ministry. God is using these tea bags. Amen. So if you have an addiction, you just put your name. You can even just send me your information and not even speak into the comments section. Whatever, however you feel comfortable and safe. I am not going to judge another human being. I'm going to pray for you, my prayer partner, <coughs> and I will pray for you. All of us fall, sin, fall short in, of the glory of the Lord. Excuse me, folks. <coughs> oh, this old throat of mine, this old 75-year-old throat. Um, all of us fall short in sin. Amen. So I want to go further with this in the next uh, week we'll see when I get a full car and if it continues after we pray once just like with the breakthrough prayer we prayed a number of days we're going to do it over right now we have all got to put God first and with these addictions that we all struggle with that wine as in Jackie's life was up here and God was here amen those cigarettes are up here you know, those cigarettes are up here. God is here. So I want to leave you with that today. I'm going to pray for you briefly. I'm just going to title this video Addictions, and we'll just let the list grow, and we'll pray fervently. We'll pray in the Spirit, and we'll pray fire down from heaven that you might be delivered of your sin. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, I lift up each one today, Lord God. Right now, Lord God, I, I pray, God, that you will begin to prepare the hearts, Lord God, that even this day that one would put another glass of wine down, that one would put cigarettes uh, into the trash, Lord God, that one would push that pornography away and be convicted in Jesus' name. The cigars, the cigarettes, the liquor, whatever is before you, God, right now, begin a mighty work, Lord God. Begin a mighty work. Send fire down from heaven, Lord God. And I do pray, God, you are able to deliver instantly. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that this child be delivered in Jesus name, 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 in Jesus name Lord God, by, by Lord God, honor this one putting their name in the comment or sending their name in the mail, God, this is a first step of putting you first, Lord God, we want you first in our life, we want no stumbling blocks in our walk with you, Lord God, we realize days are short, Lord God, and the moments are fleeting away, Lord God. Honor this prayer, God. Begin a new work. Begin a deep work. Begin deliverance in Jesus' name in your people this day in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. Leave your name. If we have to pray for several days, so be it. Praise God. And then I'm expecting praise reports. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. His light shine upon you in Jesus' name. God bless.